Uh, this video we're going to consider uh, finding the processing time, uh, the remaining processing time for an entity, and if it is below a value, for example, if it is less than 20, we're going to skip, we're going to skip um, going through the process, and if it is less, so we go through the process, as is done here, is the remaining processing time is less or greater than 20. And we first we define the processing time as T now and the proc time as exponential 480 on average. And we have the time gone by. So if you come here to project bar expression, so we have the time gone by, which is like T now minus processing start now. So when you an entity just got to assign, it will be defined as processing start now. And then we always find the T now, which is the current time now, minus processing start time, just to see the difference between the two. When the first entity got to the system and the time now, okay, and this is what we're going to consider as and when you have the remaining processing time, which is minimum between, maximum between those two values. And uh, so if it is negative, so you just consider like zero. If it's not, so you consider as a bigger value. So processing time minus time gone by. So let's see an example, how does it work? And just one second. So if I squeeze it, if I stop it here for one second, and you have the processing time is 166 started at zero, and time gone by is 180. So when you run it, it goes in and I hope we get like a big value, so I will explain it carefully what's happening. So, so when the processing time is equal to like a huge value, for example, this 1000, you could find, you could see all the units are not getting into the system. So when the processing time gone by is 1371, so it will go through the normal system. If it's still the remaining processing, the older one, it's just gone out of the system so in this way you don't don't get in the queue unless it is empty like there's a place for the queue okay so if you have any question please let me know my email address is available in the